So here we have a simple Arduino sketch with a couple of INO files and just the LED code in one to deal with our RGB LED and then some simple code just to track a switch being pressed basically. So if we select the serial debugger, so we're going to use some of the more advanced features of that. And as you can see, all we're doing is checking if the switch is switched and then changing the color of the LED and adding one to an event counter. So if we just add a breakpoint, we'll be able to actually use the conditional expression, which is also usable with GDB, but the Visual Micro Serial Debugger allows a lot more functionality. So we can show a message in the output window when our switch is on. And we can also output the event count in the curly braces, but we'll use this as a trace point. We could also add another break at the end here. But this time we're going to use the hit count feature. Now this isn't available generally in GDB on Arduino boards. But in the Visual Micro Serial Debugger, it'll work on nearly every board. So we've set this to 10,000. Now this isn't actually a hit count at present. It's the number of milliseconds elapsed. We'll show how to change that in a moment. So if we just add a message to our output window, and this time we'll actually want to stop when 10 seconds has elapsed on the board. So if we just close that, we set our two breakpoints. It can also be useful to see all of the breakpoints you've got. Obviously your code will be more complicated than mine. But using the breakpoint window, you can review all of your conditions and disable and enable them from there. So if we just click on the project and press F4, we'll get our project properties window. Now, this is where we can change the action that the hit counter performs, whether it's based on milliseconds, which is the default with the Visual Micro Serial Debugger, as you can see here, and it's explained at the bottom. So we could also change this to just be counter and then that would be a simplistic counter where you can say when well, you've been past this breakpoint n times, stop there or we'll add a trace message. So here we see our serial output coming through as well as the output window showing our messages. And here we see we've stopped now after our 10 seconds of runtime, as expected, we can see our expressions and we can also continue now. And because we set it to 10 seconds, it'll only stop when it reaches exactly 10 seconds. Now the conditional expressions can also be when changed. So we could just add that in every time the switch changes. And the hit counter can also be used with the multiple or greater than or equal to. So you could stop there only after a certain point has been reached or every time, say a minute has passed, you want to stop. Now, if you've got a variety of breakpoints, you may wish to give them labels as well, because line numbers and code files aren't always that meaningful. So here you can see you can set the label and it makes it much easier to navigate all the different breakpoints you have available.